Broadcasting from an undisclosed location under a farm pond somewhere in the Midwest. Your host is Jim Crowley. This is Slick Fish Radio. Hey everybody, welcome to Slick Fish Radio. Glad you could join us this week. This is going to be a fun show. Um, I, I, I am in awe uh, of our veterans, to be quite simple. And, and I have a lot of friends that are veterans. And um, I, I really wanted to do this show for a long time. And our guest is going to be Jay Garstecki. And he's going to be on with us in a couple of minutes. This is going to be a fun show. We're really going to get into, um, we both have a deep appreciation for our veterans and and Jay has taken it to a whole nother level with an absolutely incredible television show and more of his work. So we're going to find out more about that. First and foremost, uh, as I said, thank you for everybody for joining us. Um, and I want to say thank you to our sponsors first. That's American Tackle Company, Explore Lacrosse, Shields from Springfield, Illinois, and Dakota Lithium. I do want to got a couple announcements first. Uh, sometime tonight, if you comment in the comment section, I will pick a comment and somebody's going to win an American Tackle hat this one or this one <laughs> and a Jim Crowley outdoors hat. And then February 16th, I am going to be at the Shields in Springfield, Illinois. This is aimed more toward the collegiate anglers. Um, and I'm going to be teaching bait casting 101. We're going to go on over everything about how to make you more effective with a bait caster. If you don't know, this is the perfect seminar for you to come to because I am going to break it down from the inside the reel to loading rods to showing you the speed versus power technique. We're going to be going through all that. So it's free. So check out Shields in Springfield, Illinois. That's February 16th. That's next Wednesday night at 630. So that's that. And we'll we've got some more announcements at the end of the show. So make sure you stay tuned. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in Mr. Wonderful, Mr. Jay Garstecki. Hey, buddy. Thank you for joining. we got people commenting already from Florida. Hi, Craig. Hi, Len. Jay, welcome to the show. How are you, man? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm doing well. Thanks. It's an honor good. to be here. Yeah, good, good. You know, you and I um, occasionally run into or run past or bump into one another at, at shows, and it's we're usually doing completely different things, so it's high and by. Yeah. And um, but I I, I got to tell you, just from from my point of view, I admire um, so much about what you do and what you've done, you and your co-host um, with Take a Vet Fishing. And I, I just want to talk a little bit about first um, about where where did the passion obviously it comes from your heart. But where did that come from where you just went, we can turn this into something? Yeah, so um, my grandfather was uh, in on the beaches in Normandy in World War II and survived to talk about it. Uh, my father was a Marine. My brother was a Marine. Uh, I've never got to serve. So for me, it was just a way of being able to give back and say thank you to our veterans. And so um, freedom isn't free. Uh, men and women have right. paid uh, the ultimate price. Uh, and, and so for me, it's just about saying thank you. Um, man, you and I know what the outdoors has to offer, right? I mean, it's just so awesome to be exactly. able to go out and, uh, and spend a day on the water and man, it's, it's just so calming and relaxing. And so, uh, I uh, met with a gentleman, uh, his name was Brett Bodette up in, um, Minnesota. He was, uh, working for the mall of America at the time I was selling commercial printing and, uh, he was a, a career military guy, right? He had been in, uh, two or three tours, um, overseas and, uh, we just got to talking and I, I said to him, you know, I, I he knew that I, I loved to fish and I was a pro fisherman. And he said, what, what you know, I, I, he was showing me some personal video on his phone of some of the things that him and some of these young kids, young men and women were going through overseas. Right. And uh, this is in the heyday of the war. And I said, man, what can I do? And he said, take them fishing. He goes, when they get back, they need to be able to reintegrate into society. Um, they need to find a purpose. And uh, he goes, just take them fishing. And I said, man, I. I had a six hour drive home from Minneapolis to Chicago. I called my wife and I said, I'm not going to take one vet fishing. I'm going to take a bunch of vets fishing and, and hence the, uh, the name take a vet fishing. And that's when we started it back in uh, 2011, but we got our nonprofit in 2014. That's awesome. I'm going to read something to everybody here that came from your website. And I, I think this is, this shows where that passion grow to. And it, it really, it really hit my heart. So that's why I want to read this. It's been proven that fishing through mental relaxation, low impact exercise and social camaraderie can alleviate the effects of PTS. And now clinicians are taking notice. What, what is that? So, so people are finally starting to notice what this, we are a social people. 
right? Yep. We are. We have to be together. We have to talk. We have to go fishing. We have to do things. What I, I guarantee you, if I, I'm going to ask you this question now, what's a, the, one of the first memories that comes to mind when I say you could tell that meant a lot to that person that you took them fishing? Man, I guess I'm I'm into season six on on this on the TV right. show now, and so a, a lot of those memories come back. You know, uh, veterans that that actually you look at them and they're crying and they hug you and they say, "No one's ever done this for me before." And I'm like, "Man, I just took you fishing, right?" I mean, come on, it's it's one of those things where um, it's the least we can do as Americans. I feel we have a little bit of a debt to society as it relates to our veterans, and just to say thank you for for your service. They signed on the dotted line and and committed to give the ultimate sacrifice if necessary for our freedom so that I could be on that boat and I can go fishing and I can enjoy the outdoors every day. So for me, it's just about uh, if they've never fished before, it's about inter introducing them to the outdoors. If, they, if they're if they avid fishermen, it's about saying welcome home and uh, let's get back into the outdoors where the natural healing powers, it's amazing. Uh, and so that's really what it comes down to is just getting them back into the outdoors and putting them into a relaxed environment where they can be free again right um you know declutter their mind and their head from from pts and anything that they right. may be the demons that they may be be living with so you know i was watching one of your episodes the other day and i can't remember the gentleman's name but he said when he was deployed in the philippines 69 straight days yeah 69 straight days of hell mm -hmm. of hell they were fired on every single day he yeah. said when he got done with that that there, how do you come down off that that high of your uh, of your life that it's still it's getting to me now that that listening to that story and i think it was your co-host who took him fishing that day and him out there just catching bluegills just catching some bass he let everything go and he was like 90 something years old yeah. and, and that just i mean i watched an episode and i'm sitting here almost getting a tear in my eye and you're going sit just think about that you go through five hard days of work okay you get to come home you know, we're on the road for so many days. Okay, you get to come yeah. on. 69 days of not 10 seconds rest of your life being on the line. That is more stress than most people will do in an entire lifetime. I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, no, that, you're that right. Just, and, that and just really got to me. And and no two veteran stories are the same, right? They're all a little bit different in, in the things that they've seen and the things they've experienced. And so we, we, we just need to say thank you, man. Extend your hand, extend a fishing rod, just say thank you, take them out fishing. They absolutely love it. Uh, you're right. I mean, our, our pilot was was filmed with a 37-month prisoner of war. His name is Daryl Krenz. He was, a, oh he was in the Korean War, um, a 37-month oh prisoner of war. And he just passed away this past summer, um, unfortunately. But man, think about it. 37 months, 40 years later, Jim, he was still waking up and pounding his fist on the walls because of his PTS. I mean, that's a prison yeah. sentence right there, man. That's not, you don't go to war and, and see bad things and, and come home and, and reintegrate into society and think yeah. everything is great. No, that's a, it's a, it's literally a prison sentence for these men and women. And we have a moral obligation to help them and to and to try and make tomorrow better than today. That's all there is to it. And right. uh, and that's what I, I live my life trying to do. I was actually going to read that, making tomorrow better than today. And I think that's an absolute slogan. I think all of us could actually, literally, everybody, and I want to say hi to a couple people first. Jimmy Neese, he's from California. He's on, on, watching the show all the time. Mike Vito, Len Kajic. Guys, thanks for joining in. And, and a bunch of them here. Um, badass guys right there. Take care of our vets. That's right. Um, I'm, when I'm, and I'm looking at my notes here because I wrote down so much stuff. When um, one of the things you said, and we're going to talk a little bit about Operation Outdoor Freedom, too, because there's some things going on with that as well, but dedicated to improving lives of our military veterans. And, you know, I, I think that's cool because there's so many episodes you guys have done now. And by the way, if you guys want to see Jay's show, it's on Discovery Channel where it's done very, very well. He's also one of the charter shows of the same network that I'm on now, which is Wired to Fish TV. So there's a bunch of different ways you can see this show. And if you really, if you really want to get, if you really want to see a purpose in life, if you really want to see something to do, take a vet fishing once, pay for a, pay for a lunch sometime without them knowing it. You don't got to tell anybody. God knows that. Do that. Um, just walk up and say hi and thank you. Go, just do something. Go out of your comfort zone and say thanks to one of them once in a while. You have no idea what that is going to do 
for just, you know, that simple thank you, guys. If we just, and I think sometimes we lose that in society. That's why Jay's show is such a great show. It's a way to say thank you in prime time. You know, and this is just a great thing to do. So if you have the chance to watch a show, you have the chance to thank a vet. I think that's a really important thing to do. I, Jay, I bet this has given you, I mean, you already had the heart to do this in the first place is because you were inspired to do it. But still, sometimes you got to come off the water hearing these stories and go, wow, what just happened there? You know, Jim, they they literally rock me to the core. And I'm not I'm not just saying that, man. This is uh, people say, how do you keep it together? And I say, I don't. Um, if you notice in, in a lot of the episodes, I'm wearing my Wiley X sunglasses and uh, and I'm balled up crying like a baby behind them. I really am. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't hear that. Be human and not have emotions. It's impossible. Right. Um, it really is. And so uh, for me, it's it's just about giving them the the notoriety the honor the 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 thank you that they deserve and um man i'm i don't know i guess i kind of have a weak heart as it is i i tear up at the the drop of a dime but it is what it is man i just it's the way god made me and i'm okay with it i really am um uh, i'm not ashamed of it um when i hear these stories what these men and women have gone through um, it literally rocks me to the core. And I become very close friends with some of these uh, sure. veterans. Like I said, I filmed six seasons now. And, and this is, um, man, what an honor it is for me to be able to do this and to just say thank you. Because it, it's there's no better payback than to say thank you. And, and like I said, hopefully make tomorrow better than today. For, for a handful of these individuals, you've done something, you've done something right. That's awesome. We were going to take a two minute break and we come back. We're going to talk to Jay about the Operation Outdoor Freedom Foundation and and some other stuff that's going on. So just like Chuck Willer used to say, we'll be back in two and two. Two and two. American Tackle is home to the award winning microwave line control system. Rod blanks the reel seats, ferrules the finish, grips the guides. They're committed to the very best in rod building components. Find out more at americantackle.us. With fishing beyond your expectations, indoor and outdoor activities, a vast variety of places to eat, drink, and stay. Discover your next adventure between the bluffs. ExploreLacrosse.com. Located in Springfield, Illinois' largest selection of sports and sportswear, hunting, fishing, specialty shops and services, a 65-foot Ferris wheel, 16,000-gallon saltwater aquarium, and industry-leading knowledgeable employees, you don't take chances at Shields ever. Go to shields.com. Believe in quality is measured by lifespan and harnessing their unique chemistry and engineering know-how. Dakota Lithium lasts four times longer, powering your passion with an 11-year warranty. Find out more, dakotalithium.com. Slick Fish Radio with Jim Crowley can be seen and heard on Roku, Fire TV, Spotify, Amazon Music, and iTunes. All right, we are back with Jay Garstecki. And uh, Jay, thanks for going through the break there and seeing all my animation. Um, Good hey, job. I, want to, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Outdoor Freedom Foundation. Now, now what came first? Was that first or was Take a Vet fishing? No. So I started Take a Vet fishing, and the thought behind that was exactly that, right? Get veterans out on the water, say thank you, uh, introduce them to fishing maybe. Uh, and so we started Take a Vet fishing, and we started it, uh, myself and Rob Blancher, who's a veteran. Uh, he, we started it up, and his his son, Justin Blancher, and, and that whole family, the Blancher family who owns Vibrations Tackle. But uh, we, we took, I think our very first event was on... Um, it was on the, the Madison chain up in Madison, Wisconsin. And I think we took like 27 veterans out on 13 guide boats. And it was just an idea of getting them out on the water, saying thank you. We brought them back in. Uh, there was a park right there at the uh, at the side of the lake. And we cooked some burgers and we gave them whatever raffle prizes we could drum up from some local, you know, uh, companies and things like that. And we gave him some things. And that's where I met Daryl Krenz, uh, the 37 month prisoner war. He happened to be living in McFarland, Wisconsin, and he came to the event. Um, and at the end, he literally hugged me and was crying. And, and I was just, I mean, I was a sopping mess. Right. But <laughs> I was like, Daryl, I mean, he, he'd never shared his story with anyone, right? He never shared all the, the demons inside and, until he had met me. And I said, Daryl, if I ever get the opportunity and I, I had in the back of my mind that, um, that I wanted to start Operation Outdoor Freedom. I wanted to give uh, these veterans a voice and get their stories told. Because again, no two veteran lives are the same, right? Each one of them went through a little bit different childhood. Um, their time in the military may have been different. Their time out of the military may have been different. So I thought it's really cool idea for us to just document these stories so that the history books don't teach it to us. You know, I've got a 17 year old son 
Um, he, he needs to understand that, again, freedom isn't free. And, uh, and what it means to, to go out every day and play hockey or do the things that he enjoys doing. And, and again, if you've never left this country, you don't know how good we have it here. Right. And, uh, and so that being said, I started take about fishing and uh, four or five years later, I was able to uh, talk to great clips. Who's my big sponsor right. and say, tell them the, the, the concept. I said, listen, in, in the first four or five years of take about fishing, I met some of this country's greatest war heroes, right? Cause it's 150 vets on 75 guide boats, each one of our day of giving back events for take about fishing. And they're in Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota. We're now down in Florida. Um, and so you get to meet this country's greatest war heroes and, and what better way to honor them than to document their life so that future generations, whether it's their kids, their grandkids, I don't care who it is. It's the, the, the general population can understand what these men and women did for sacrifices for us. And, and a lot of people don't real, realize it, unfortunately. So it's just an honor. You know, and, and since they're really not teaching that stuff in schools anymore, young people just don't understand what they went through. And, and you know, I've been to a bunch of different countries and over the years, and you are 100% correct. I don't care how good they think they have it over here. I've been to some of the most beautiful places that they, it's not a 10th of how good it is over here. It's nice on the resorts. Yep. When you get stuff almost everywhere else, not really falling apart, but in some places, yeah, yeah it is. And, yeah. you know, this is the last basis. The last foundation for freedom is right here and we need to pay. And that is never truer than today. We need to respect these people who have put their time in for us because they didn't really get, what they got out of it a lot of times it's like you said sometimes an endless nightmare sometimes that that ptsd sometimes there's no way we'll ever know exactly what they gave up and like you said every story is completely different um here's bob collins um just came on he goes as a veteran i really appreciate what you were doing well bob thanks for thanks for chiming Thank you for in your service love it's up bob i'll tell you what matter of fact you are the first veteran to chime in guess what bob uh, you're going to win a couple hats tonight. I'll tell you that now. And awesome. I may give something else away. So don't everybody leave. Cause if I'm giving stuff away, that's when you guys stick around. And, uh, so we got a bunch of great viewers. This is just great that all of them are chiming in like this. I appreciate all of you and y'all know that. So what is, what's on plan for this season now? You, so this is, are you starting your seventh season now? Filming? Yeah. So okay. we're going to start filming season seven. Uh, we, okay. we are, um, we may have to change the name. Uh, the Florida Department of Agriculture actually trademarked the name Operation Outdoor Freedom. Let me back up one step. Um, sure. The name of the TV show used to be called, when I started it, was Operation Fishing Freedom. And so we had always done, the setting of the show itself was always on a fishing boat. We figured we'd put the veteran in a relaxed environment, a fishing boat out on the water. It's just two people fishing. What better way to relax and tell your story than, you know, rather than being in a studio with lights and cameras and all that stuff, right? Um, that being said, I was like, man, I really would, you know, we, we've got some of our World War II veterans, our Korean War veterans, even some of our Vietnam veterans that maybe uh, don't get around so well or, uh, you know, just have some, um, some disabilities. And so I didn't want to try and uh, only get people on the show that had to be able to go on to my, my recon boat, right? So I said, let's, let's change the name from Operation Fishing Freedom to Operation Outdoor Freedom so that I can now do things like uh, uh, camping and maybe kayaking and some different things, anything as it relates to the outdoors, because we know that getting people in the outdoors has natural healing power. So we changed the name, not knowing that um, Operation Outdoor Freedom was trademarked by the uh, Florida Department of Agriculture. And they've been great to us. Uh, they're great to deal with, but we're going to end up having to change our name. It's a little confusing because they do a lot of great things with veterans also. So we're going to change the name for season seven, but it'll do something with the outdoors. We're looking at outdoor veteran freedom. We're looking at something like that. But that being said, yes, yeah, season seven uh, is underway and I'm super excited about it because we are we're going horseback riding. We're doing all sorts cool. of cool stuff. I was in Montana. I, I mean, I get to do some of the greatest things. So I, I'm, I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky to do this. And you really get a new adventure because you have a new person to do it with all the time. And like you yeah. said, you form some really good bonds um, with, with some of these people. And it's great. I've got uh, Len Kajic said, we need to thank our first responders. Len, we do that a lot as well. We are very thankful for it. Cause I'll, I'll, and I've told veterans this too. And um, my cameraman is actually a retired um, police chief. And, uh, so we've been friends for a very, very long time. And, um, what I always tell veterans when I meet them, 
and our police officers and, and sometimes our firemen when I meet them too, is that if it wasn't for what all of you did, I wouldn't get to do what I do. Mm -hmm. it, it's really, it really, to me, it really comes down that simple for our veterans. If you didn't take the time to fight for our freedom, I wouldn't get to do what I love to do. And so, so right. I'm, I'm extremely thankful. I have, I have, um, I am, I am so in awe of what you guys have done, Jay. And, and I mean that because I think it's a wonderful thing when, when you get to something, when it heals people's hearts, even if for a short time, or like you said, makes tomorrow better than today. I, I don't think God could ask any more of a person than to give your heart to somebody like that. And I, I think it's a really incredible thing that you, that you guys do. Um, Hey, if there's, there's going to be people asking, I know this, um, Patrick Michael just came on. Thank you for recognizing first responders. As you know, my father made the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, Patrick, I did. We were, we were childhood friends together. I know that for a fact. Um, how do, how would vets get a hold of you or to be a chance to be on the show or is there a process yep. to go through it? How, how, does that, how does that happen? Yep. So they can log on to the website, operationoutdoorfreedom.org. Um, and you can, we have a nominate button. You can just nominate a vet right there to, to be right. nominated for the show. I can tell you, honestly, when we're on Discovery Channel, um, obviously we get a lot of nominations and it's hard. I, I actually gave the, 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 um, the duties you'll want to call it of of nom or of getting the veterans for sure. the episodes to my to my producers because I just can't do it anymore because I want to do every single one of them I did think every single one's deserving I really do yeah um, and and one of the things I, I want to back up just one step because talking about that first responders uh, one of the things I want to change the name to um, whether it's um, like healing heroes or something like just so that we can then include not only our veterans but potentially first responders and anybody. Um, as it relates to giving us our freedom, the one you just spoke of, you know what I mean? Right. So I just want to make mention of that, uh, that, that we are doing that real quick too. I know, I don't know how much time we have left, but I do want to mention that, um, when I started both of these organizations, I never in a million years thought they were going to morph into something way more than what uh, they originally were. And what mm -hmm. I mean by that is um, Take a Vet Fishing um, and also Operation Outdoor Freedom both have uh, uh, accounts, bank accounts that we have reserved set aside that we not, we, we not only educate, but we also pay for the treatment of post-traumatic stress in our wow. first responders and our awesome. veterans. And so if you're a veteran or you know of a veteran struggling with post-traumatic stress, please, please, please use us as a resource. Um, we are uh, very well entwined with many other nonprofit organizations out there like 220, um, with Warfighter Advance, the Sparta Project, uh, Erase PTSD Now, the Stellate Ganglion Block Shots, um, you name it. We're, we're very closely connected and we pay 100% of the treatment for that veteran. So uh, I, I'll pay travel expenses. I will pay for the treatment. I'll pay if I can make tomorrow better than today. I'm going to do it for you. So please, please make sure you get in touch with us. Uh, Takeofatfishing.org or operationoutdoorfreedom.org through our website. Get in touch with me or any one of my team, and we'll, we'll make sure we take care of it. And if you guys can't remember any of that or somebody watches this late and you missed something, contact me through Facebook. You can contact me through email at jim at jimcarlyoutdoors.com. Whatever it takes to get you in contact with Jay. Jay, you don't mind me saying that, do you? That's Not okay. at all. That's, okay. that's what we're here for. I will, I will be more than happy to do it. Um, I just, I, I, from my heart, brother, I, I appreciate you coming on and doing this. Uh, I'm glad this, this got out. Um, even if there's a couple people out there that didn't know about you, I hope this will help to get the okay. message out. And may, even if it helps one more vet, this will be worth, this will be worth our time to do it. And I bet it's going to help a lot more. I really, really appreciate you being on with us tonight and give out, give out the contact information, please. One more time. Yeah, sure. So, uh, on take of fishing, we've got seven events this year, eight events, I think this year, um, Illinois, uh, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin. We're going to be up in Mille Lacs, Minnesota. We're going to be on Lake Minnetonka, Minnesota. And then we go to, oh, and, and Boyne city, Michigan and, uh, Eagle river, Wisconsin. So each one of those events, uh, we take veterans out for free. You fish from seven in the morning to 11 in the morning at noon. We present the flags. We do the anthem. We feed, not only the veterans, but all their family members. It's very important to know that their, the veterans' family members serve also. Um, so we honor the, the, the family members. At one o'clock, we do an honor ceremony. We, we, um, we honor every single veteran in attendance, and uh, we're, we feed everybody lunch free of charge, and uh, we give away about $10,000 worth of gifts to our vets. Every vet walks away with either a awesome. rod and reel combo or a reel. Uh, 
great stuff. And then, uh, so that's through takeofatfishing.org, or you can contact us through the TV show at operationoutdoorfreedom.org. And again, um, we want to continue to pay it forward and say thank you to our, our veterans and, and our first responders. So, And, and I'm going to leave you with this, buddy. If there's something in the future that you think that I might be able to assist with, um, let me know. We need to do a show together, Jim. You and I let's should do it. Put let's our, do it. Yeah, I'll say it right now. Let's just figure it out. All right. Let's, let's just figure it out. Let's do it. I think uh, going into season seven here, I think we can get it figured out. And I, I, I really think that'd be, it'd be great I'd for both it. of us, right? I, think I love it. I'll, fun. I'll bring a big gift bag of stuff to give to whoever we do. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. I'll just, awesome. let's just do it. Let's just Sounds do it. Good. I have uh, another guy came on here. Len Kajic said, Jay, thanks for all you do. Um, and thank a bunch you. of guys are just, I really appreciate it. my friend. Thank you. And I am serious about this. Let's, when your schedule allows, contact me. Let's let's have a conversation and figure it out. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks again for having me. Uh, anyone that's listening, um, I, I don't get to see all the comments, but I just want to say thank you all for listening. And um, again, if you could just, like what Jim said, if you could just maybe, if you see a veteran in an airport or I don't care, restaurant, shake shake their hand, tell them thank you, especially our Vietnam veterans, right? Welcome yes. home because uh, many of those those men were, were spit on when they came home and uh, called nasty names and and. The, They've never been thanked before. And some of them are even ashamed, not not now anymore, but we're ashamed to even admit that they were a Vietnam veteran. So, uh, man, how, how terrible Let's well, is that? Right? We came with open arms. Um, Absolutely. They uh, they were there for a reason. So, And if you're, uh, a, if you're a person with a boat, get a veteran out on the water. Just tell them thank you. Just you don't know how much help you're doing for them. I mean, literally. So if you have a boat and you you have some time on your hands, uh, try and find a local veteran, go to your local VFW, go to your local American Legion and just invite a veteran to go fishing with you, man. It's awesome. Make tomorrow better than today. You got it, brother. Jay, thank you so much, my friend. God thank bless you. you. I will look forward to talking to you soon. Sounds good, Jim. Take care. Okay. What a great, I don't know some of you guys got a little worked up over that one. I know I did a little bit. Um, you watch some of his episodes it you will you will be thankful you will be really really thankful watch some of jay's episode on take a vet fishing like i said they're on discovery channel they're also on wired to fish uh tv and uh just a, a great guy all the people that work with him god bless them all because they are uh they're doing it they are paying it forward um hey so we got a winner i want to talk to you about this bob collins i if you're still watching sir i will contact you on uh on social media i will message you and i will get your address and i will send you um a jim crowley outdoors hat and an american tackle hat um and also i want to um remind all of you in the illinois area again next um um next tuesday or excuse me, next Wednesday at Shields, February 16th, I will be giving uh, a casting clinic, Bay Casting 101. It's going to be at the Shields store, as I said, in Springfield, Illinois. It's going to be aimed more toward the collegiate anglers. Um, you'll see an ad going out for it tomorrow uh, on social media. But if you can make this, if you want to learn everything about bait casting, over the years, I've literally taught thousands of people through my videos and in-person seminars how to become more efficient with a bait caster. If you can't throw a bait caster, you'll throw one by the time you're done with this class. I will show you how. I will show you stuff that's not in the directions. I'll make it easier than you think that it is. Because if you're going to be successful in fishing, you need to really use both, both bait casting and spinning. I will go over everything and show you how to become more efficient, excuse me, more efficient and more effective with a bait caster. Pitching, flipping, skipping, just overhand casting, side, everything. We will go over everything. And I will show you the basis for it. And I will show you why backlashes happen. I will show you how to avoid them the best you possibly can. And it's all about technique. It's not about expensive reels. It's not about expensive rods. It's about technique. So if you're interested, February 16th at the Shields in Springfield, Illinois, Bait Casting 101. I look forward to seeing you there. A lot of comments, guys. After I get off the uh, air here, we will. Um, I will answer all I can for you. And uh, I'll answer everything that I can, just like I do every week. I am so thankful for all of you. God bless all of you for tuning in who tuned in live. Thank you to all our viewers on all our outlets. The show is growing bigger, and it's because of all of you. And I am very, very appreciative. God bless you. We will see you soon.